Hey everyone, Richard here for AndroidCentral.com and today we're taking a look at Echofon Beta. So Echofon is free and ad-supported, um, but there's a little cross here, we can just get rid of the ads, but uh, it's very well designed, it looks very nice, it follows the, uh, the hollow UI guidelines very well. Uh, we'll open up the Compose Tweet window here, nothing out of the ordinary, we've got options to uh, take a photograph to add from the gallery or to geotag. Um, a nice touch is though that Echofon won't accidentally geotag. Um, you have to enable it in your Twitter account settings, which uh, which is nice for people who maybe don't uh, maybe don't want their um, their location adding onto the bottom of their tweets. You can't turn it on accidentally. Um, we have a short URL option there within the tweet window as well, um, but we won't post this tweet. It's uh, it's a little bit dry. So once we've discarded this. Uh, we'll go back and take a quick look at the timeline, get rid of the ads again, and we'll take a quick jump into the menu. So we've got three tabs, settings, accounts, and uh, a menu setting there for jump to top. So when you're halfway down your uh, Twitter feed, just tap that and back to the top you go. So into the settings, usual things. We've got a dark theme. We've also got a light theme. The dark theme does look better though. Um, options of how you want the display to look, names, uh, username and name, just usernames. Everyone has different ideas. So taking a look at a, a tweet, um, it's very minimal. Only the sort of top half of the screen is used. If you want to look at somebody's profile picture, it'll open up in the browser. But you can tap on the username and sort of be brought to their home to homepage. Um, performance is generally quite good. Uh, scrolling is sometimes a little bit uh, jagged, but overall quite smooth. Um, Got the uh, the tabs here down at the bottom in, uh, in Echofon. Um, some people prefer this. I'm not too uh, not too indifferent, but you know we've got the usual things: home, mentions, messages, lists, and of course your own uh, your own home tab. But you know it's uh, it looks very nice. It, as we said, it performs quite well. When you tap on a photo, um, photographs do open up within the app itself. But um, yeah, that's a very quick first look. At the new beta release of Echo Phone for Android. Thanks for watching.